Okay, as with the first drawing, you're going to start with the termination points. So you go into your front view. See everything there is in construction at the moment. You're going to have a look at your top view. Go and find where each of your lines meant to terminate. Project the termination points up into your front view. At the moment there should only be one because all of those lines will be in line with each other. Take that up and then you have to go and follow your labeling. So we take point C. Point C is going to terminate on that edge of your main pipe. So if you follow point C through, you're going to get a termination point for C over there and you're going to label it. Same thing for point F. Point F terminates in the same place. So you take point F from the front view. It will also terminate on the edge of your, of your main pipe. And you label point F. And then you take point A and point B. Point A is going to terminate on this line here, which you projected up from your front view. So you'll have a termination point for point A over there. And you'll have a termination point for point B on this line. And then remember that both of those points are at the back of the shape. So they will be your second label. You're going to have to label point D and point E first. So point D from your front view here is going to terminate there with on the same point as point B. With your label it is D comma B. And over E, e over there you'll bring down and you'll have to label that as E comma A. Once you've completed that with this drawing, you've still got termination uh, turning points that you have to find. The two term turning points are the two end points of your main pipe, which hit into the surfaces of your secondary pipe. So you have to take each of those two points into your auxiliary view on the side. And in your auxiliary view, you'll see that those two turning points are going to cut at two different places on your auxiliary view. And you're going to have to label each of those. There's turning point 1, turning point 2, turning point 3, and turning point 4. And then each of those turning points you have to transfer from your auxiliary view in your front view to your auxiliary view in your, so in your top view to your front view. And for that you're going to have to measure every single one of them. Easiest to use your compass to do so. So we take the distance from point A through to turning point 1. And we're going to take that distance and transfer it into our front view's auxiliary view. Place it on point A on the line AF where it came from. Mark that off. Mark that off. And then label that as turning point number one yeah, then for your second one same thing take your distance on line BC with your compass measure that there to turning point two place it on line BC and mark it off and then label that as turning point two take the same thing in your top you have on line EF Take that measurement, for turning point 4, put it on line EF here, mark it off, label that as turning point 4, and then the same thing then for turning point 3 on line DC, take the distance there, place it on line DC, mark that off, and then you have turning point 3. Then you take each of your turning points from that auxiliary view and you should have two that line up with each other there which you then go and project into your front view as well as the other two. Project those into your front view, they should also line up with each other. And then of course you will label them where they hit into the edge of your main pipe which will be over there and there. Okay, and of course as that flips up you're going to see turning point 4 in the front and then turning point 1. So your label is turning point 4, comma, and then turning point 1. Up top here, you're going to see 3 first and then 2. So you put in turning point 2, so 3, and then turning point 2. Then you go to your auxiliary view here in your top view to use that as your map to complete the curve. And if you have a good look here, you're going to go from A directly to B with no turning points in between. 
So we're going to find A and B in our front view. We're going to join A directly to point B. Nothing in between. Then from B you have to go through to turning point 2 and then to C. So from B to turning point 2 and then C. Okay, now the next part is all going to be hidden detail because it's going to overlap as you come back. So we're going to go and have a look at from where we're meant to go from point A. So point A is meant to go to turning point 1 and then to point F. So A will have to go to turning point 1 and then to F. And the rest of it is identical because you have your secondary pipe directly in line with the center of your main pipe. So you don't have to go and draw the rest of that in. You can stop there. The rest will be hidden detail, which you won't see. And then you just go and complete each of your lines of your secondary pipe, joining them up to where they would have terminated. And then don't forget to join in the edge of your main pipe up to point C. And then anything in between turning point 3 and turning point 2 over there, that of course is going to be cut out of the shape. So you won't have to add in any hidden detail lines there. And I'll just add this line in here to complete your front view.